Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So today I'm going to show you how we prepare a cucumber for our fish, snails and also our shrimp. And you can do the same with a zucchini or courgette if you're in a different country, sometimes that's what they're called. Now I'm only going to do about half of this one today and it is really easy to prepare. So I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm also going to take the skin off. Now I do notice that with a lot of videos people don't actually do that. Um, I also notice when I see a lot of uh, cucumbers or zucchini in tank that people don't take them off. I just choose to do that for the most part because you never know what chemicals will have been added or put onto the skin either when it was grown or when it's being preserved for obviously going to the stores as well. So I just think that it is easier to take it off and then you're not sort of worrying about what is actually on the skin and whether it's safe for the fish. So once I've done that, I will then just sort of cut it into whatever sort of chunks. I mean, you can do chunks, you can do slices. I usually choose to do slices. So I'm just gonna do that. I do them fairly, fairly thick, probably about that is what I would do them, but it really doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want for uh, whatever you're deciding to feed. So while that was cooking, I have got a pan going with boiling water. And then what I'm going to do is then add in the cucumber into it. And we're basically just going to blanch them, which means that we're just gonna soften them up so that it's easier for the fish to eat them. And I'm gonna do this for probably about one to two minutes. Uh, you literally just want them in there for a very short space of time. So while they're cooking, I have just got a bowl and then I've put some cold water in and then some ice cubes in. And then what I'm gonna do is when the cucumbers are finished blanching, then I'm gonna be able to just put them into here. And all that's gonna do is stop the cooking process. This really is optional. It's just something that I choose to do. Okay, so these are finished cooking and I don't know whether it's showing up on camera, but you can actually see that they have started to sort of change color somewhat so that you can tell that they have softened. And then I'm just gonna put them into here. Now the other thing that it actually does in putting them into the cold water is they will eventually sink. And that then means that when you put them into your tank, then usually they will sink to the bottom of your tank. Now, not always, I have had it happen both ways, but hopefully uh, on the, for this video or for the purpose of this video, if I have got the water cold enough, then maybe it will sit, they will sink, but at least it will stop the uh, cooking process. And the good thing about making so many, what I usually will do is I will make quite a few, which this is probably about two to three weeks worth of using these. I usually put in cucumber or zucchini maybe once, twice a week into a tank. So this is gonna be more than enough to go in the tanks for the next two to three weeks. So what I will do is take this out and then I do actually freeze it. Now you can either cut it up into little chunks or cut it up into whatever size you need and then just put it into a freezer bag. By placing it into the cold water, also it does cool it down very quickly. I don't know whether you can tell on camera, but they have all sunk. So obviously that is a good thing. So let's go and feed some of our snails and shrimp and fish with this cucumber. So this is our guppy and shrimp tank. So let's drop a piece in and let's see, look at that. It's gonna sink. It's probably gonna go somewhere where they can't get to it. Oh no, there we go. And straight away a shrimp has gone onto it. Mm -hmm. 